Yo, what up, y'all? What's good, everybody, man? We got your tune in, lock in, lock in. It's your boy, Grandmo Goose, representing Grandmo Everything. Link will probably be down in the description below. It's definitely always on. I don't be like, you know, I feel like I'm just trying to sell y'all shit. So that's why I don't really like. I, I always gonna plug in my merch for sure, but I don't be wanting to feel like I'm trying to sell y'all shit and all that. So if you wanna if you wanna support, you know what I'm saying, the link is in the description. Uh definitely on my on my Instagram. Grandmo underscore goose, you know what I'm saying? G R A M O underscore goose on Instagram. So check that out for sure. But we gotta talk, ladies and gentlemen. I guess this is, I guess this is gonna be like a podcast episode too. Y'all feel what I'm saying? This gonna be a podcast episode too, I guess. Um, I don't know what number I'm on. I just got, I gotta talk a little bit. I'm a ramble. It's gonna be random, but it's like two topics specifically that I want to touch on. Shout out to the plug. Um, one of the topics that I want to touch on is gonna be, it's gonna be um, the situation that's going on with uh, Cuomo, but not so much his situation specifically. More or less, we're gonna talk about the, the contents around that situation and how the fuck we get to this point in society to where that a man can't really even be a man no more. And two, we're gonna talk a little bit about what happened in Atlanta with the spy shooting. But also, like, what that means for our people moving forward. So, again, um, this is just my opinion. I'm a, I'm trying to bring from my perspective of a young, young black man that's living this that I know that it's against me, that it's against us. So I, I'm trying to bring it to y'all from my perspective. I, 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 and I always like to make a disclaimer that sometimes the topics and things that I talk about it gets a little touchy. It definitely gets a little touchy. It definitely gets a little uh, controversial. So if, if if you don't like controversy or you don't like a strong, honest black man opinion, then you might want to turn this video off right now. But we about to get started to talk about two things real quick. First and foremost, uh, I think I want to start with the Asian, the Asian uh, hate crime situation thing that's going on in America right now. Oh, I gotta take a shot first, man, because this one is kind of crazy. Um, shout out to Casamigos. I ain't looking for no sponsors. I'm just saying, Casamigos. You know what I'm saying, Casamigos? But nah, gangster though, we gotta talk. We gotta talk about this. So, it was this shooting in Atlanta. Uh, eight people got killed. One got critically injured, and. Um, it happened at three different spas. Two of them was in downtown Atlanta or midtown Atlanta, they said, and one was in another part of Atlanta. But so basically what happened is this guy is supposedly like a a sex offender or whatever the case may be. And they had a, uh the um the captain of the police department for that specific uh part of the city in Atlanta, he was on TV and he did an interview basically all right, let me start like this. Why is it that we always get, us as black men, as black people, we get criminalized, you know what I'm saying? When we uh, are, when they talk about us on TV or when they describe a black man or that like we was a suspect for a crime or we possibly did something, when they talk about us, it's always led off with something negative. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's always led off with something negative for some reason. Like. It's always let off with us to look like a criminal or evil person or a bad person first. Why is it that when white people first, and a lot of the times we get arrested, it's with incident. It's not just a, a simple, they just taking us in. It's always an extra behind. How is it that the news are, not even the news, because they kind of painted them a little bit how they were supposed to paint them, but not really at the same time. But how does they cap it for the police? To, and mind you, these two black sergeants standing right next to this guy. And they staring at they did one of them cops looked the pissed off. Like his eyes said, like, nah, bro, what the hell are you talking about? This guy basically said that this man is a sex offender. He was having a bad day. And 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 then he eventually snapped. This is what led him to killing eight people. Six of them happened to be Asian women, right? And I'm leaving with that to say. But on my next topic is what we're going to get into, which is what they're trying to do as far as painting an agenda that 
black people or black men specifically are attacking Asian people, bro. That's not happening, bro. That's not happening. Let's talk about how the Asians really don't respect the black community. Let's talk about how they was never outside protesting when we was out there getting violence and things was happening to us and people getting killed. It wasn't out there with, with the Black Lives Matter. And I don't want to talk about them because y'all know how I feel about them. That's another topic for a whole other video. But it wasn't outside with Black Lives Matter. They wasn't raising the signs and protesting for our equality when shit was happening to us. Well, the first thing I'm asking my people to do is mind their business. Don't go out there fighting for these people holding up these Asian Lives Matter signs and all this stuff. Every other race and uh, people that come to this country, they, they, they usually get uh, economic help and a specific set of laws tailored to their specific race of people, bro. They go, the media is good at aesthetics. We don't control the media. This is why I like uh, my YouTube platform because I'm able to come on here and basically speak my mind as to my perspective on situations and give it to y'all from a different side of the coin that they're not going to really show y'all. And I'm here to tell y'all that Asian people wasn't outside for us. We don't, we don't, but we, like, they don't treat, Asian people don't treat us good anyway. Let's think about what the Asian people do. And I mean, I, I've, I've had in, a, encounters with a, with a lot of good ones. I'm not trying to say like, but man, I, I've had, I've had uh, chicks I know say they went inside the beauty salon and they got uh, disrespected by the Asian woman or the nail salon or the beauty supply store, 99 cent store or fish market or whatever it is. Uh, they mostly make all of their money in our communities. They mostly have their businesses set up in our communities. So that's the first and foremost. And they eat off of black people anyway. We empower them to every fucking race in the world and the whole entire country for sure because we the ones that's the consumers. We the ones that spend all our money with all of these institutions and establishments because we don't have our own. And that's another video too for another time. But I'm saying all of that to say that we should not be outside on the front lines fighting for Asian people. I'm not saying that it's not wrong what's happening to them, but they just, they making it seem like it's a specific thing that's happening to them when it's, that kind of stuff happens to our people everywhere we go in this country all of the time. And it's not reported. It's not pushed to the forefront. Uh, when, when certain things happen, it's used as a photo op or specific opportunity for them to be able to push or whatever their agenda is. And they always use our pain or our suffering and our plight as their plot to their situation it always happens they always play on black people emotions on, on on our struggle on the things that we go through to push some type of agenda that does not help us at all it's gonna help the communities and 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 the minorities but that word minority is crazy because when they actually use that word to me and i'm y'all can correct me if i'm wrong down in the comment section below and to follow me on instagram at Grandma underscore Goose and on Facebook at Grandma Goose. Follow me on there too, cause I be talking heavy. But what I'm saying is, if they could use that situation to try to, if they always could use Black people situation to try to uh, uh, push a certain agenda. And when I say communities, and I'm talking about minorities specifically, that to me means everybody that's a non-white male. And I'm not. This is not a. But it is a race thing because they're trying to make it seem as if the situation that's going on and the problem is has to do with race. I'm telling y'all right now to look out for a specific set of legislation, laws, and agendas pushed directly towards the Asian community that they're going to use our situations to push theirs. Now, we're going to either be the, the, the people who are looked at as the people that's doing it to the Asian people as far as hurting them, or we're going to be looked at as the people that's saving them. And it's going to get them a specific set of laws and agendas that's going to help them financially to get more wealth and more power. And it's not going to help us at all. We're going to be outside looking stupid again, like we always do. I don't say we, I mean we as in a, the black community. I don't mean me specifically because I don't be outside with none of that bullshit because I know that the people that's out there that don't really know what's going on. they And then the others that do, they out there for the wrong agenda. That's, boom, whatever. Now the next topic, we, we so the Asian beef ain't our beef, it ain't our beef. Stay out of it has nothing to do with us, stay out of it, boom. Now the Cuomo situation, but more, more specifically, like the times that we living in right now, right? Be careful with what I say here, because I don't want to, um, I don't want to rub people the wrong way. And I want to make a disclaimer by saying that these opinions are just my opinions, this is not no facts, I'm not... 
I do do my research and I read newspaper articles and I read online articles and things like that and go to the different media sources to put it all together and get my perspective, all right? So the Andrew Cuomo thing, the Governor Cuomo thing from New York. I'm from New York. Shout out New York. Um, Cuomo. How y'all feel about that, first and foremost? Because <clears throat> there's so many ways <coughs> excuse me, to talk about that situation. You know, there's so many different ways. Now, I will say this. It has to be some type of level of like respect in the workplace. <coughs> Forgive me, excuse me. And some level of professionalism in the workplace. That has to be an, an, an absolute first and foremost on the agenda. So women should be feel comfortable also in the workplace as well. So I get that part. If they felt like now nah, your man was doing too much, he was saying too much, and they was feeling uncomfortable, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? God nip that in the butt. Hold on, Como, chill, you're doing too much. But like, I grew up. I'm not that old. I'm only 30 years old. I grew up in a, in a time where it was like, you could actually try to holler at a female, you know what I'm saying? And not come off as disrespectful. You could be like, hey, beautiful, how you doing? Or, I think you I think you sexy. I think you, I, your body looks amazing in that dress. Or whatever the case may be, no disrespect to women because y'all take everything. It's so crazy and out of hand now, but whatever. But y'all know what I'm saying. But when I was a teenager, that's what I could do. I could walk up to a chick and say that, bro. And if she got, like, offended by what I said, I could say, miss, I'm, I apologize, man. Or my, my bad, shorty, and keep it moving. It won't be a, a big thing. She ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? You, now you say you say to a woman, hey, hey, beautiful, how you doing? She may she may think that you're trying to, you know, like, like, like assault her verbally or to sexualize her or something along those lines in that nature. And I don't get that. Now, I'm not trying to absolve, uh, Governor Cuomo or the situation because I don't actually know the facts and I'm not trying to say that he's innocent in the situation What I'm trying to say is and then like I said to you also have to respect the workplace thing But if I know this man, he probably was just a man being a man man and like that shit is being killed in this fucking society Why are they going so hard to, to, to get rid of the man's man? The alpha male the real man. Why are they going so hard to get rid of him? They pushed the fucking gay and lesbian agenda to fucking an astronomical place. They taking away the fact that you could call yourself a man or a woman. They talking about you gonna go in the store, it's gonna be no gender specific aisles. And what the fuck kind of weird shit is that? I don't want, if I had a daughter to be fucking going to a, a locker room as a, if she was in school and she fucking has to get dressed with a fucking transgender. Uh, but he was born biologically a boy. I'm, I'm no man. Why have we come so far on the agenda that the man's man is being pushed out of the way? I'm not saying Cuomo didn't violate. Again, I don't know the facts, bro. What I'm saying is, it was a point in in life and society that it was okay to try to talk to a female. It was literally just called a man laying down his mat. You laying down your mat, bro. And that has been taken and and blown to a whole new type of level. After the Me Too movement and all of these things that happened in Hollywood with all of these women and these accusations and things coming out, it took it to another level. Now, I tell my brothers and my people that I love, like, you got to protect yourself now with women. And it's not no, no offense. And I'm not a woman hater, woman basher. I love beautiful black women. I love beautiful women, all races and sizes and colors. And I don't care about none of that. I'm here to tell y'all that they trying to kill a man's man. There was a point where you could talk to a woman. And we'll be okay. It was a point where you could try to just holler at them and it wouldn't be a big deal. If you disrespected her, she would go get her brother and come back and he'll beat you up. <laughs> or she'll go get her block and they'll come back and they'll check you. The community took care of the weird niggas that was doing the extra shit to the females, bro. The community would take care of you. They would pack you up if you out there wilding on them chicks. I'm saying all of that to say what happened to society to a man just being a man. I think, I don't know what Cuomo was doing. I think he was just in there like, hey, hey, beautiful, you look good today. Or, damn, that dress is fitting you nice today. Or, damn, your body's amazing. Like, he's being a man. I mean, it's, see, but, like, again, all these words and terms and things. So now he's sexualizing a woman and stuff like that. When when I was 15 years old, they called that laying your Mac down. Or laying your pimping down. Or trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to holler at a woman. Trying to get a female. I try to... 
however you want to call it, so many, but that's all it was considered then. Then they changed these fucking uh, rape laws and all of these other laws. They changed all of these goddamn laws to add in so many things that have nothing to do with rape. But it's considered a, a, a sexual assault. So Cuomo, I don't know what you did, Cuomo. They did a poll to see like how New York feel about him still being the um the governor. <coughs> Excuse me. And they, they basically split on that. Fifty uh forty nine percent of New York feels like he should still be the governor. Forty three percent said they don't think he should be the governor and no the other seven is undecided. So people don't even really think the man should give up his job. Not one of those women ever said that. I mean, as far as I know, I could be wrong a tiny bit, and I'll go back and do the research, but I think none of them actually said that he touched them. And I don't want to go. Like, this is a this is a touchy subject. Like I said, it's going to be controversy. If you don't want to hear controversy, then don't watch my channel. But none of them actually said that he touched them, as far as I know, and... He probably was just being a man. Like, he probably was just being a man. Was he wrong for doing it in the workplace? Yeah. Did he possibly go overboard and say too much? Yeah. Did Maybe he made some of these women feel away? Yeah. Did he physically violate them? I don't know. Do I think he was wrong for what he did? I don't know. Because I don't know what's right and wrong no more. I don't know if I, if I could go to a woman and tell her, hey, I think you're beautiful. Or I think you're sexy or something like that. Maybe you have to choose your words differently now. But you can't even really like... And then at any given time that it goes against what she wants or something along those lines, it can become a situation where now everybody is fucked up. Because she could try to ruin the situation by just making an accusation. Don't dwell on that. Dwell on that for a second because that's a real thing. Accusation, that's a real thing. So, I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's controversial, it's touchy, but it's something that gotta be spoke about because it's, it's a real thing that's happening in, in the community. And it is people that's victims of that shit, absolutely. I'm not saying that. Obviously, that's obvious. But where's the... How do we check the credibility? Where does where does the the accusation stop and the actual evidence and the truth come in on any type of situation? Like not just his situation, not just on any of his situations. An accusation now could get you put away in jail for a long time. It don't even have to be true. You have to prove your innocence now, nah, like you gotta from being guilty already off the rip, which is I mean that's always how it's been for our kind of people, but come on now. Come on now. It's 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 getting real. It's getting real out here. Like I said, man, it's a lot going on. And I could keep on going and keep on going and keep on going and keep on going, but it's just like a rabbit hole you climbing down cause you're just going to be, like, in the same situations over and over again. Yo, all right, boom. I'm going to end it because, listen, I feel like I feel myself getting into that bag where it's going to get more even touchy. So I'll just break it down into different videos, and I'll title them, and we can chop it up like that. Oh, if you're new to the channel, turn on notifications, hit the subscribe button, thumbs up. Um, Instagram, Grandma underscore Goose. Facebook, underscore Goose. I mean, Grandma underscore Goose, all that stuff. I'm getting text messages across my screen right now. That's why it's hard for me to finish. But, man, y'all already know what's going on. It's Grandma Goose. I appreciate everybody tuning in. This is informative. It's my perspective on what's going on. When they going to let men be men again? I don't know. Probably never. Just stay tuned for the next episode because it's coming soon. One.